And we're back with a box office prediction. And we're going to talk about Top Gun Maverick. I almost forgot the name. <laughs> you forgot the name already? Man, that's not good. I was going to say it, but I forgot. You dozed off while I saw it good. Well, let's break it down. So Top Gun Mavericks is about, it takes place after more than 30 years of service as one of the Navy's top aviators. Pete Maverick, a.k.a. Tom Cruise, mm -hmm. is where he belongs, pushing the envelope as a courageous test pilot and dodging the investment in rank that would ground him, training a detachment of graduates for a special assignment. Maverick, Tom Cruise, must confront the ghost of his past and his deepest fears Blah, blah, blah. So basically, this is what this movie is about. <laughs> I ain't going to read too much more about it, but that's basically what Top Gun Maverick is about. It is the sequel to the original Top Gun that came out about 30 years ago. It is directed by Joseph Kaczynski. Uh, so let's break it down. So let's give some context before we give our predictions of this movie. Okay. Um, so one thing I wanted to look at was the original Top Gun, right? Mm -hmm. This original movie came out in a long time ago, I want to say it came out in 86. <laughs> <laughs> so time in 86, right? What are you talking about? The, the original movie came out in 86, I okay. think. Okay. 1986. We're going to go with that, all right? So the original movie made $180 million at the domestic box office. Worldwide, it made $357 million. So this movie really killed it at the box office, not counting inflation. So it did really well when it came out. Oh, it's, yeah, in 86. Yeah, man, my memory I good. had to look it up just to make sure. <laughs> Google ain't got nothing on, on my memory. <laughs> but, yeah, so this movie did really well at the box office way, way back then. Mm -hmm. And this new movie... Is actually doing really well with reviews. When you look at the new movie, Top Gun Maverick, so far, a lot of people are saying really good things about it. It's getting great reviews. On Rotten Tomatoes, they have a critic score of 96. Now, we don't know what, how the audience feel yet, but this is amazing, especially when you look at the Rotten Tomatoes score of the original Top Gun, mm -hmm. which is 57 and 83 from the people. Mm. This director is known for Joseph is known for Oblivion, which I actually like Oblivion. I don't think he really cared for it, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. And then 2010 Tron Legacy, mm. which had some people who liked it, some people who didn't. I don't I like think, either of them. Like either of them. I don't think I've seen Tron Legacy, but I know it has some cult following, but a lot of people didn't really it didn't do good enough to to continue the legacy. Mm. He killed the franchise. So Yo. but hey, you know. Everybody, hit or miss, hit or hit miss. Hit or miss, hit or miss. I, I, I like Oblivion. Maybe not everybody did, but so far, people really love this Top Gun movie. So we'll see how it's going to do. But who cares about all that? For people want to know what is the prediction, right? Mm -hmm. Well, depending on what you look at, it's tracking at 90 to 120 million opening. I don't see that. I think that's way too high for this movie. I think it's going to do really well when it opens up. My prediction, I'm going to go on a low end in the 50 million range because at the end of the day, this movie came out in 86, right? Mm -hmm. Who's really checking for the well, sequel? Are you looking forward to this? Well, I'm just saying because a lot of these new movies are just nostalgia movies, like the Spider-Man movie yes. with all the old characters, Jurassic World's coming out with all the gold characters. You know, the Chip and Dale one has a lot of, like, nostalgia back in the day for people our age, you know. So it's like, you never know. Well, I think it does have a nostalgia factor to it. So I think it's going to do really well. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to do 90 to 120 million well. I think it's going to do, <laughs> I think this movie's going to do great when it comes out. I do want to see this movie when it comes out. You think it's going to get up there eventually, right? But not, like, the first oh, yeah, weekend. Think, yeah, not the first weekend. That's you, you know, you're talking about. Yeah, that's pretty high for a movie like this. You know, you look at Downtown Abbey, which got a lot of older people that come out to go see it. Mm -hmm. I think you need a lot of older people that's going to come out to see this movie as well. Mm -hmm. I think Tom Cruise is still a bankable star. Mm -hmm. But what which movies of his really open up that high? You know, his biggest movies now is like Mission Impossible, and they don't mm. open up. You know, they, they do well, but no. I'm predicting somewhere in the 50 million range, maybe a little higher, maybe a little bit lower. But somewhere right there in a sweet spot. 
I'll be surprised. You know, maybe upwards eighty million dollars this stretch. But if it cracks a hundred million dollars open a weekend, that will be shocking. <laughs> I don't see that happening at all. But hey, I could be totally wrong, and this movie just kills it and makes one hundred twenty billion. But hey, uh, that will be amazing. But I think anything, really, I think anything above th- uh, thirty-five million dollars is good for this movie. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to do better than that. But you know, on a low end. Maybe, but I'm I'm sticking them around the fifty million range. Where, where, where do you have it? Hey, no timer. No timer. <laughs> People want to know. I gave my explanation. I, I know you did good. like very detailed explanation. The more I think about it, I might go me. higher, but I'm gonna <laughs> stick at fifty million, man. Like actually, I would say, like maybe sixty five. Maybe sixty five. I was thinking that, like sixty five. Sixty five, the max. I'll do 50, you do 65, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, hopefully you're right. I like seeing these movies do better than I predicted. Mm, you know, yeah. I, I simply predict on the low end On the things. low end, I would say maybe 45. That's a big range. So you're saying 65, <laughs> I'm saying 50. So we'll do it like that. I'm just saying 50 million range. You're saying 65 million range. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's see. Oh, who's... like 50 to 65? No, I'm 50 million range, mm-hmm. give or take a couple of million. You're at 65 million range, and the people that's tracking it is in the 90 to 120 million range. So. Dang. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, this movie is spectacular. We really want to know until reviews come in from actual people. Mm-hmm. But, um, and we'll, a lot of the time, it's like word of the mouth. You know, people like it, people go watch it, and more people go see it, you know? Yeah, like everything, every everything, everywhere, all at once, which is doing mm-hmm. amazing, is really staying steady week over week, mm-hmm. barely any drop in week to week performance. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I can't wait for this movie to come out. Um, let us know, give your thoughts, predictions below, and thanks for watching. Until Thank next time, you. everybody. Peace. Peace.